Hi, I'm Jordan Allen, and I am a, a leader of the Integral Austin community, and um, I've, I've recently been traveling around and circling a lot. And I'm Sarah Ness, and I'm a leader of the Austin Authentic community, and with Jordan have been leading circling immersions and classes in Austin and around the U.S. So for me, the, the clearest link between what is integral about circling is the essence of development, as Keegan describes it, making the subjective experience an object in our awareness. And circling is just doing that in relationship over and over and over again in the moment. So I'm just aware of, oh, this is how I am subjectively, and I'm looking at it, and all these people are reflecting back what it looks like to them, to me, so I get to see it more and more from all these different angles, and then disembed myself from that and ha inhabit a larger space. Mm -hmm. And what I've found is when I first began doing authentic relating and circling work, I didn't have the distinction of integral, but I found myself able to be able to take more and more perspectives, both in myself and in the group as a whole in leading authentic relating events. Like, I can feel my own experience, and then I can start to distinguish emotions, and then I can start to distinguish the texture of different sensations and how those are all influencing each other, and then how those are influencing my connection with somebody else and the group. What are you distinguishing more more. right now? Um, nervousness, mostly. You seem a bit shy. And excited. I feel like I'm on camera. <laughs> <laughs> How odd. <laughs> I can distinguish sarcasm. <laughs> Another clear link to me, and I like you talking about the personal experience, because I think that our growth is evident, and, if you, and I hope that if you watch a video that we make in a year, you'll see the same thing. You'll, mm -hmm. It'll just be amazing that this practice actually... Ironically, because like the, one of the deepest commitments for me is really to just love what is in the moment, to really be okay with what arises, even if it's defensiveness, even if it's disconnection. But the irony or the paradox, so beautiful, about, so integral about it in that way, is that massive growth occurs in being able to just sit with whatever is. And to me, that's actually part of the subject-object distinction, mm. is that the way... I, and I think a lot of us have been brought up, is to see the past and the future and never really get to be in the present. So even to distinguish what I'm feeling right now, to feel my whole body, to feel the connection. For you a minute ago to say, I like that you brought it back to individual experience, is making, you know, making myself the subject of my own experience as it's happening right now. And that, to me, has actually required development to get to understand. There's the integral mindset, this third person kind of working on the system. It's like you're going into a dark kitchen, tripping over something, pulling out a flashlight, and then like disassembling whatever it is you tripped on and then rebuilding it in a way that you won't trip over it again. And that's also like a therapeutic modality from an integral point of view. And to me, circling at its best is just flipping on the light in the kitchen so that you can just walk around whatever's there. Or, oh, this chair's flipped over, I just need to pick it up. I don't need to rebuild it. And what comes to me is also the beauty of circling is that it doesn't happen alone. Mm. I'm flipping on the light in the kitchen, but there's a party going on in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I think that brought it home. <laughs> <laughs>